I'm still good at raps. Yeah, I still got more to say. I don't smoke no blunt raps. Yeah, that's a double entendre. That's adding an R to the le- in lyric. <coughs> I tripped over my words. God damn, my appearance still fly. Man, I'm still that guy. I might fuck up now and later like a now and later kind of guy. 25 cents gets me real fly. That's that sugar. That's that spice. Yeah, I need to keep it going. Caffeine might be flowing in my veins. Motherfucker insane. I'm like the NYC subway homeless guy who keeps spitting the same type of game, but I'm better. Bitch, I ain't got no cheddar, but I'ma still keep it going like, damn, I got the new leather. Hey, welcome to the fucking shop! Yeah. Uh. Well, welcome to the motherfucking boy basement, the shittiest podcast in the world. Um, Yeah, uh, that was just some random shit from the legendary Sounds Like Deer Beast. Ooh, kicking it off. Yo, shit, yo, run that yo. shit back, man. Let them, let them know. Let's keep, let's just keep it going, man. Fuck it. These motherfuckers in the podcast sphere, they don't even know. All right. They don't even know about it. Hold on. Yeah. This is a void special. We got Wise Boy Jeremy here too. Legend, he's just sitting there. Sounds like deer. Yeah. What? <laughs> Get hype, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Shittiest podcast in the world. We got shit to talk about. It's mostly going to be about motivating yourself for me, you know, elevating your career because that's what these two guys have been doing. And just getting to know this motherfucking new young producer because I feel like, you know, producers get love nowadays, but I mean, definitely getting buried to like the 80s and shit, but it's still a new wave. It's still a new wave. So, for sure. producers be getting like murder beats. Ain't nobody even knew he was white. It was like, holy shit, he's white. But yeah. Welcome everybody. Uh. Yes, we're here. Yeah, I guess I'll spit. Talk to him. I guess I'll spit. The shit got a piano flow. God damn though, I feel like I'm at a cafe, maybe in Seattle. I heard it rains a lot there. Shit, I like to get my hair wet. Ain't got no much more, nothing really left. Just keep on going, keep on going. Get some more sex from my bad bitch. Yeah, I digress. That's kind of <laughs> off topic. Sounds like deer. Let this beat keep on going and keep on dropping. Hey. I felt that shit coming. God damn, no pattern, man. You was still just humming. You just doing your own hot thing. Hey, and it's really hot. God damn, my heater got broke from my dog. I dogged him. I had to lock him up. Fucked it up. Hey, yeah. Locking the fuck up. Fuck. But yeah, welcome, man. I guess let's get it started. Um, good to fucking hear from you, though. For real, for real. Yeah, good to see you, bro. This beat is fucking crack. What's this one called? Shit, uh, it's called You Just Living. Damn, yeah. You know, just some unreleased banger, you know, just something you could groove to. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, what doll are you using there, huh? FL Gang. You know, FL All right, gang. so you're FL Gang. We, that's the, definitely yeah. the first thing we'll talk about. Why yeah. are you FL Gang? Well, you feel me? FL Gang, I started that because of uh, Metro Boomin. True. I feel like that's how I started, yeah. too. My, like, when I got into producing, you know, firsthand, I saw that future was with Metro, and I was like, all right, what is Metro using? Boom, FL. And then I saw all of the commercials, you know, the cheesy shit with Razor and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. fuck yeah, FL's the way to go. But I heard he uses Ableton now. Really? I don't know. People be switching up, so. Yeah, Ableton does shit to people, bro. <laughs> yeah, he do, he do be using that, that NPC, too. I think it was like the 2000 XL. Oh, well, yeah, you definitely, if, once you get some bread, NPCs are the way to go, because you can do, like, industry-level shit just on, the, on a whim, you know? For sure. But what do you like about FL over uh, Ableton? Just uh, just how it looks, or you just literally picked it and you just, just stuck with it? I I haven't really explored any new dolls yet, so you know, eventually I might switch over and try. You know, you gotta do the, always have the best of both worlds. But Ableton. I have the great mindset, honestly, is because that's how I thought about it, and then I tried Ableton. And I was like, this shit is whacked. <laughs> I, I don't know how y'all do that sequence view and arrange view. I like. I think uh, Ableton has a nice spot for MIDI connections, though, if you need to connect, like, instruments and stuff. But I can tell, you know, you're doing a lot of, like, programmed, like, grooves. Like, you really just go out of your way to find the best sounds. And what for got sure. you into production? Like, the sounds or just... Uh, I started producing, you feel me? Always got to start off with my Dukes in the car playing the okay. best of the best music okay. of all, all times. Like Old what? Bass. Like what? My mom, she was a, a big fan of, like, Biggie Smalls. Oh, of course. And That's like great. Mary J. Blige. And, like, she played some Wu-Tang, definitely, for sure. 
So that's kind of I can see a lot of like lo-fi R and B vibe, right? Yeah, definitely. And that, I can kind of see that in your beats too, especially with Yuji. That that track has a very very nice like little like lo-fi type groove type to the mix and shit. Yeah. And we definitely gonna get into that wise, but don't think you're just good over there sitting. Yeah, we gonna <laughs> yeah. get to you too, motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, you just pretty much you started in the whip with it, and you know you just feel like I love music. That's how it was for me. Like I'm just addicted to this shit. It's like my mom did the same yeah. thing. We was listening to Usher, we was listening to Tupac, everything. And you know, I was a Biggie guy myself because I feel like in the Biggie versus Tupac debate, I really see Biggie as more of the lo-fi. I'm gonna rap about like emotional shit. That's not that Tupac didn't rap about emotional shit, but in terms of like the more gritty, dark undertone version of it. Whereas yeah. Tupac was more uplifty. Like you can get through this shit. Biggie was like, "Fuck it, I want to die." Like I right. literally, like look at this fucking album names and shit. But what what stuck out was your mom's production that made you want to produce? Like it's, I say it's like a combination to be riding out in the, like in the car, you know. I don't. I'm you wanted to, to put some shit in the car. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Put some shit in the car. Eventually, I started playing my beats in the car with like my mom. Really? Yeah. But what made you install? Like, what what did you see that was like, all right, I'm gonna fucking install this shit today, and we're gonna try it. Like, I'm gonna watch some cringy YouTuber like. And learn this shit. Because that's what I did. I was like, all right, Future is Fire. I had heard I, Dirty Spray 2, and I'm like, bro. I, I started off, it wasn't even like actually FL. Like, I really started off like, you know, like when you got your little Android phone and you download the little apps. Oh, yeah, like, like those little like wow. beat yeah. pad apps where you can. Those are really fun yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. I, I downloaded tons of those. I was making beats all day. <laughs> all day, man. Well, that teaches you rhythm, though. Yeah. It really does, so. Yeah. When I, in elementary school, I was I played the drums, too, so. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Damn, I can yeah, definitely. That's, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's why that's, you're fucking, you know, sidestepping and side chaining is really nice. Yeah, so. definitely. Bro, I, I just want to know, like, like, what was the first, you know, reaction your mom gave you when she heard your beats? Like, were they trash at the time or were they good? Like, did she clown you? Because I mean, the first time I showed my mom my music, girl, I got clowned. I ain't even gonna lie, dude. So I mean, my mom, you feel me? She gonna do what a mom do. You feel me? She gonna tell you she's gonna love you, know she support it. You feel me? You sound good or bad. You feel me? So I mean, I know I can tell the difference from when I look go back and listen to my old stuff, and then I listen to the new shit. And it's just like that's actually one of my questions I was gonna have. Do you prefer, like, well, not prefer obviously. What would you say is the main difference between your old stuff and your new stuff? Uh, quality. Just quality Pleasure. overall? Like, in what way, though? Like, yeah. just, would you say that more, you loop more less mixing. or... Like, more mixing. I do I do use shorter loops, actually, but I ain't gonna give up too much sauce. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You feel me? I, I, see, that's what my job is, bro. I gotta yeah. get the sauce, yeah. You feel me? I tell you Probably this stuff. It's, just, it's really cleaning up, like, compressors and stuff. Like, just... Learn, so, it. you say, learning to mix board is half the battle. Yeah, definitely. See, yeah, that's... That's where I kind of left off in my musical journey, bro. Like, I, I got decent at it, but I felt like my shit was getting stale. But that's the thing about mixing. Everybody thinks there's one way to mix. There's not. It's just you get stale of how you do it, and you just got to switch it up. And would you say you did any mixing before, or are you... Nah, I just really started the mixing, honestly. I can't lie. Okay. At okay, first, it was a lot of just... It was, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of raw sounds at first, but I'm really I'm getting to the groove now. Y'all, y'all going to hear a lot this year. Much more cleaner. Much more. What are we going to hear, bro? That's, that's another thing. How, how is the solo production like coming? Are we going to get... looking forward to, too. Yeah. Um, in terms of, like, releases, yourself this, and others. This year, I was just say, for me, I'm looking to release, like, a beat tape this year. You know? Shit. Early, this year, I already dropped... I, I dropped the beat on Bandcamp. I'm trying to start the year off fresh with something. Like, putting something out. Let them know, bro. Promote that shit, yo. Yeah, definitely. You feel me? Go, go on Bandcamp. You feel me? Dog. Sounds like there. A beat called Cosmic Echoes. I mean, it's only a dollar. It sounds like my dog's guys. Like, hey, hey, Sylvester, you chill out over there, bro. Don't mind the dog, man. This dog, he, he's a cutie, but let me tell you what, man. He's a, he's a piece of work. He's, so, he's talking his shit over there, man. If y'all see the ribs on the futon, just ignore them, please. Thank you. So you got a beat tape coming. Is there going to be videos for this beat tape? A lot of producers are doing that. I, I mean, go for it if I say, you, you know. You need a ball, bitch. Let me know. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have my people who so I be around, so I definitely... We'll probably put something together. I'm looking for more visualizers, like videos. I'm. I have another tape that I'm trying to put out this year. I want to put out two. Okay, That's so okay, we got some more out of you, bro. I love it. <laughs> what's it gonna What's it gonna be sonically? Are you giving that away? Uh, I. I tell you this. All right. 
You already know who's going to be on it. You feel me? Uh, I would assume somebody in this very room will be on it. I would yeah. hope to know. I wonder who. For sure. But it's <laughs> tons, semester, right? tons of more yeah, people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to reach out to underground. Real, real underground. Sure, yo. Well, yeah. hey, you know we're you know, we in the void right now. So we're in a glitch space. So, you know, you got to get some glitch heads. And, you know, we're, we're the glitch peoples, bro. We're glitch just glitched. Heads. We just spawned, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll be so. spawning we'll, we'll shit, spawn bro. in that mixtape too, bro. We'll throw some shit. Fair enough. All right. Uh, what, what do you, uh, you know, do you see any shows coming up? You guys got any shows? Because I know Wise Boy specifically, he's been really on your show grind. And I know you're his DJ pretty much. Yeah. And that's one part I definitely want to get into as well is like some stories. Like I know you guys are in the hell of yeah, shows. Yeah, show stories are For fun, sure. yo. <laughs> I mean, How, you got anything coming up? Uh, as of now, um, no. But as far as shows, it's usually like, when you guys reached out for Basement Fest 2, that's usually how people will do it. And, like, word of mouth, I did a show with, um, I don't know if you guys heard of Goth Goth. Um, I did a show with them in, like, a basement-type setting, and the photographer actually put me on to this other curator that puts on shows out in Philly, and then that's how that happened. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, so, yeah, because I saw you guys were over the bridge. I was very hyped about that. I wanted to go, too, bro, but, you know, I'm getting, life is a bitch. Yeah, yeah. for sure. How'd it go? How was there any stories from there? Um, it was it wasn't uh, the best show, but I mean I'm always thankful for the experience, no matter what. Yeah. So that's how that's I look at it. I think the most crazy show the story that I have with you two guys is when somebody dropped out of a a local show. <laughs> Oh Y'all pull the fuck up, right. and we just ripped that shit yo, for an hour, bro. It was oh, crazy. Yeah. That was People actually lit, yo. that was actually one of my favorite shows too, because I feel like. Yeah. It was it was less organized. It was kind of like you know Emily called. Yeah, that and she was, was some like, low key shit. Though, yeah. You want to perform? And I'm like, hell yeah! So then yeah, we go out there and up. just making it up as we go. There's no set list or nothing like that. Yeah. You know what and I'm saying? Fuck it. We'll you guys close out a hell of a shot. Right. And to be fair, I mean, way to pull up on any setup. This man. Yeah, what a way to make an entry. What what is like your go to fears for a show? Like, what are you scared of when you see? I mean, we, I think we kind of most of the fears are really just like equipment issues that really. Yeah, that should be fucking me up. Yeah. It's fucking me up right now. What do you now. think? Any, do, do you have any equipment you're trying to get in mind to like maximize your shows? Because I'm always curious yeah. sure. what you need to do a show for rap That's over what, sure. what you need for EDM. Because with EDM, all you need is your B pad and you're good. Yeah. You plug your USB in, you got all your music right there. I mean, you know, if we could just run it off the laptop like we usually do, but you know, it's like, it's not this, that's not pretty enough, man. We're looking for the turntables in the future, man. Turntables, sure. bigger yeah. speakers, you know. Nice nature plants. plants. Yeah, I mean, just how you like it. I can tell, like, I mean, that's the thing that sucks about technology is now it's so simplified that like, right. it's straight up is like, all right, everything is on a laptop. But like, I love the prettiness, like you say, of like a fucking yeah. two turntables, two speakers, some fucking you know just beats blaring off that shit. Yeah, laptop man. to the side, but you know the laptop's doing everything anyway. That's the crazy part. Hey, right. hey bro, you know you know what I really want to do though. Like perform at like colleges and shit. Like, get yeah, like, like, like perform at, like a college and somebody like I don't know like. Wherever well, have you been to a lot of concerts show. just on your off time? Cause uh, nah, college shows sure. are pretty fucking crazy, bro. Right? You'll yeah. love doing them, but yeah. they're, they're like you said, word of mouth. Yeah. So it's like you really can't you know hope for the best with them. But the best part about a college show is. You get the most honest reaction from the people you want to get an honest yeah, reaction from. Yeah, because everyone's fucked up. Because, I mean, us youngins, we run the world right now in terms of the sure. RSP. Like, For old sure. heads got their old reliable, but, like, it's like, y'all got Yuji, bro. Now, let's get into that. So, how did the Yuji song come about? How did the video come about? Um, it's hype as fuck for Yuji. Uh, Yuji! Oh Woo! Yeah, go, go stream it, go watch the video, it's everywhere. Yeah, we'll plaster it, plaster it. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Link in the bio, link in the bio. Uh, uh, shout out to shout Dick out to Dorm. Arv, shout out to Poos and um, yes, everybody sir. else that shout was involved. Shout out to Arv. You know, you already know they're legends on the show, blah, blah, blah. They've been on the fucking shit, man. They, they're they on the prowl and they're grinding just like y'all. For sure, but uh, so so Yuji, it was, it took a, a while. It was it was a long time in the making. It was, um the first half was made in July and the second half was made in November. Oh, Wait, actually. what? Wait, so like when the video <laughs> flips, because just so you guys for context, not to spoil it, but once you watch, like the first half of the song is in VHS, like filtered, like just, you know, the very R of all right, the, like right. first, the fucking video if you're her unique swag. <laughs> and then the other half is like, I guess, Poozie swag. It's like, like definitely. And that's, that's, I think, what the beauty of it was. So by the time Arvin Poozie heard the song, it was already the final version. And 
how how Arv does things, which I actually fucking love, is so spontaneous. Like, she'll get a song, and what usually is like, I didn't, I just sent her some shit because she was gonna do a Basement Fest two recap, which is mm. crazy. How everything ties in together, and I send her a few songs, and she sends me Yuji back, and she's like, I'm gonna do something different with this, and then she calls me a few days later, and then she has the whole video planned out. She was like, Yo, I need That's you to beautiful. free up the 16th, which was November 16th, so it was right after the song was actually finished, and um. Yeah, Powell came through, and then when we were there, that's when she told me, like, yo, we're going to actually go, like, full-fledged with this shit, and Poos is bringing his camera and everything. Yeah, and person of her word, bro, because sure. if you watch the ARV podcast, shit, she really explained that her whole that, goal bro. is to get this shot in her brain and then mimic it to the fullest extent, <laughs> like, getting that legendary shot. And why don't you guys throw that shit on? Why don't you throw that shit on? Come on, man. We got to play this. Let's, you know what? If, you ain't, if you're too lazy to click out, we got you. All right? We're the void. We do that shit. But, yeah. So, I, I, I honestly think the single was great. I love the video transition. You know, you you're utilizing more than one director, which I think is an underrated thing because some artists, they, they, they're too scared to leave who they work with. For right. me, I look at it as like, yeah, obviously... I well, love doing work, but it's like, I always want to find new people to work with and try different, and that's kind of what you were explaining with the flow, you right. know? Yeah. I, like, are you guys open to, you know, collaborations, or are you keeping your circle small? Yeah. A little bit of both, actually. Yeah. It's That's how it is for me, too. Yeah. Because yeah. no, I hate working people. with people, but I we're love working with right, people. Right. It has to be, like, you the right person. You keep the people you trust around you, you know? For like, sure. to be artistic huh. with, like, you know how to click with them. But, like, new people, they do And we deepen up into the podcast, bro, like... Just, if I, I don't know, you know, for if you're still watching this, bro, please let me hit you up to do the show, all right? People be crazy. They be hitting me up, spamming me all the time. Like, it's like, dude, I I have to want to talk to you, to talk to you, you feel right. me? Like, that's yeah. the point of a podcast. Throw that that's you, you know, fuck that negative vibes, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit, yo. Hey. What's going on? What are we doing? Uh. Uh, we out right now. Mm. We're gonna, we definitely gotta talk about the album and all the, all the nitty gritty. This is my voice, by the way. Nitty gritty, dirty city, eh? Hey. It's solid, yo. This shit shut my dog up, bro. So this is July? This is July. Alright. It's got that summer feeling. This dude got that summer sun vibe. Right. It was it was three o'clock in the morning though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that that's beautiful, man. Hey, hey. And you can kind of feel the progression. You know it's gonna switch. You just don't know when. Right. That's a sign of a great beat. Yeah, that's a sign of a great beat. Hey. You know, it must be weird hearing yourself, bro. I, I hate hearing myself, so I'm glad you're dealing with this shit because I like reacting. You getting that live reaction, hey? The transition of a lifetime. This is the the quotable. I'm. A, you better listen to that shit. Hey. Yeah. Now when did this part come out? This was November. November. Ah, see how the season switch. I need to go to the next show, bro. Did y'all go to did y'all play this at your last show? Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. I 
should have been there. Fuck, man. You're gonna be butthurt, man. Uh, to those people that saw it, you're lucky as fuck. All right, you got some even on me, man. I respect that. Beautiful work, gentlemen. Beautiful work. But yeah, um, what was the video process like? You're, we see you start in the train, so I already know you took the train. That's already an adventure in itself, right? Right. So, um, like I said, Arv just said she wanted to do something different for it, so I didn't know if it was like just a little visual or whatever. But I knew we were gonna be in Philly, so I pull up and then we're at her house and then um, Powell's there and then she's like, I hope you don't mind. Well. I know you don't mind because I'm telling you now, but Manny <laughs> and uh, yeah, shout out to Manny. Um, he was there too, and um, also my boy Mac was in the car. So it was all together: me, Manny, Powell, Arv, Deer, and Mac. And um, at a studio session that day at this um, this place for creators in Philadelphia is called Rec Philly. Shout out Rec. Man. Shout out Rec for yeah. sure. And um, what we did was we got to Philly a little early. We took the train out there, uh, Woodcrest, and um, we just got right to it, like. As soon There's as we no got time. to the station, just started like filming shots. Yeah. And, dude, what shit. was the planning process? So RV pretty much did all of the the planning. I mean, like, did you guys have any say, or you kind of just? Because I mean, you, she's somebody you can trust. So of course, yeah. I, I always trust her creative yeah. vision. So yeah. with Yuji, I, I really had Poozie. little to no say. I think it was really her, and then Pooz had like little contributions here and there. So so that's what that's what we were talking before the show, people. I was basically like. Just talking about random little shit I pick up on, and and I, I noticed that me and Wise we have a similar issue. We got the raps, but it's like we just gotta get entrusted with these people that can package that shit right perfectly, exactly. you know. And I feel like that's kind of like you so know that sounds like the air of motherfucking swag, bro. Right? Like you bring right. the beats no one else got. Yeah. And what For would sure. you say? Definitely. What are some of your other influences musically besides like you know Biggie uh, and fucking Tang? Man, I can if I if I talk on a producer perspective, I can go down the list all day long. Mad Lib, shout out Mad Lib, yeah, okay, shout out MF Doom. I seen him even fuck with the new Earl Sweatshirt Camp stuff like Mike and um, definitely uh, shout, out Mike. Yeah, shout, shout out to Mike, shout Mike out to Mike and Mavi. Oh well, Mavi, my bad, my bad. Yeah, 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 I don't really listen to him much, but Mike is a banger of an artist. For bro. sure, he has some some crack. And I, I don't really see the, the similarities, surprisingly. So that's that's really interesting. I feel like, you know, when I think of your type of beats, I think of more just like, kind of got that Joey Badass, but if like Joey Badass was more with the culture. Right. Yeah. The underground culture. Because he kind of went mainstream these last few years. Let's, I mean, yeah, I ain't, sure. yeah. Joey Badass, if you're watching this, why the fuck are you watching this first off? Second off, right. Joey, if you're watching this, please, <laughs> please come yeah, call like, me, please. Love you. I need this, call me. I love you, man, but like I'll be very surprised if you're just watching this random yeah. ass podcast. You know, I didn't take you as a podcast we'll guy, see but you one day. But uh, all right, if you uh, this is one question I've had to ask you. Um, I've obviously just one question. <laughs> just one. Well, I have a million questions. You know, I'm the question man, but. Like, what, what's your dream lineup to DJ for? And what's your dream stage? Because that's kind of what I want to tie into your inspirations. And you, we can do both of y'all. That's a really interesting one. Because I'll give you mine. You for know sure. what I'm saying? I'm trying to start the show with Frank Ocean right. to just get everybody loose. Get everybody all fucking romantic. You know, yeah, all the couples win. So all the couples can leave. That way the monsters have time. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the couples out of there. It's like, damn, it's Frank. Fuck out it's time to make a baby, bro. We out. Get out of here. And then, like, you just win them over. With just a straight, like, fucking either death grips or, like, honestly, probably, like, Kanye, bro. Because, you know, Kanye shows are always fucking crazy. Of course. But you say some controversial shit, get me canceled. So, so what you got? What, what would your dream show be? Oh, my God. Uh, if it's some big names, obviously. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're still going to put Wise Boy at the headliner. That's just how we do it. You know? That's just how we fucking do it. <laughs> He's definitely going to be one of my many headliners. I, I don't know, bro. I, that's my well, There's so many. Well, here's a better way I guess I could break this down. Who do you think of when you go, you make beats, like, to make the beat for? Like, artist-wise? Because for me, <laughs> I do Future. I do... Somebody like Rich the Kid. I'll make a Rich the Kid type beat because I know now if people fuck with Rich the Kid, so I'm like, that's on tap, bro. Other, other than this motherfucker, I think, um, I I make a lot of like, I it's, man, I can't, even, I ain't even gonna disclose his name. Woo! I can't say him. You feel me? Shout out hey, Baton Rouge. I respect yeah, it. Shout out Baton Rouge, baby. Shout out Baton Rouge. Yeah, that's you feel me, my boy. You might hear a song later, but okay, okay. I just say Mad Lib, big one. For sure. So you fucking with like Freddie Gibbs and shit now? Yeah, oh. Shout out Gibbs. Shout out Gibbs, baby. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, just I mean, all right. I could see you at a Freddie Gibbs Wise Boy show. That'd be all pretty right. fucking tough, oh, yeah. 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 Do, I feel like somebody would get their shit spat. Somebody would get their shit hey. punched. Also, Fly Anakin. Fly Anakin. Wow, yeah. that's a name I haven't heard in a hey. minute. May fly him and pink seafood. You heard that that take they put out? Yeah, that's seafood. what I'm saying. I heard about that. I haven't yeah. really given it a full swipe. You feel me? The last Hot shit. I've been getting stolen from the uh, the Slither Arks K world. You know what I'm saying? I've been on scam rap lately. You've been on that scam rap. He's been listening to Ice Speed way too much, bro. <laughs> nah, yeah. I, I love Ice Speed though. Yeah, he's the funniest one of He's hilarious. Yeah. His his streams. Are I have. Um, what do you where do you see the scene going? Like where do you see music going this year? Like what? Versus what you put out, because obviously you're, y'all ain't trying to go for the mainstream. Like, you are, but you're not putting out the, right. the normie sound. Yeah, like, cream baby, cream pull cream. me closer, and the yeah. vaccine, you know, like, right, over. Right. Like, right. Nah, you're not doing that shit. have all the time, bro. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a battle, bro. Try it is, like, it is a battle. Distinguish yourself in, like, different genres and all that It's so shit, hard to find your footing. Um, I'll say this. I'm underground for life. For sure. Okay, so you, but it's like when you talk in terms of underground, you can just it goes and like it can go. It goes so deep. Shit goes yeah. so deep. Yeah. It's a lot of shit that's I guess, underground. What is your sliver then? Like, hip-hop. what are you shooting for? Are you trying to just boom bap? Okay. Hip hop. Okay. You feel me? Classic shit. Cold. Traditional. Shit. Yeah. You? Traditional. Uh, pay, I, I pay a lot of homage. Sample. Sampling is like a, a art, bro. It's, it really it's my is. Art. It is. I love it, bro. Way you can break it down, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, the way you break it's it more down. of like I guess it's like the Arvo cinematic style where it's yeah. like you're you're chasing that sound instead of chasing that yeah, shot. Like, for yo, sure. Like, can I show you an example? Like, fuck yeah, bust some shit up. We got it, man. We love hearing this more shit, yo. And, and I love that you break it down like that because for me that's the fun of it too. I hate making drums drum yeah, patterns. Bro. I like making the melodies all day. Like, I, need, I need people to really really see the art if I'm gonna be here. You feel me? Yeah. It's And your dream show sounds like a fucking beast of a show, bro. Freddie fucking yeah. Gibbs. All classic Fly shit. Anakin, motherfucking like Wise Boy. That'd be a one hell of a show. Yeah, you can't even come I think my, the door. I think I would change my here. philosophy after that, yo. Yeah, like, exactly. I might change my ways. <laughs> I might find God after that show, bro. What my morals fuck? might switch up. I might go fucking start time. I might have up. to go to church after that shit. <laughs> like, this, this is a beat. Look at them fucking waveforms, bro. Uh, I'll show you. The beef right, I'll show you the beef right. Uh-huh. So I, think I posted this on my grandma the other day to see if the people was, you feel me, fucking with it. A lot of new um, techniques. Sounds like deer, hey. Link it below. Yeah. Side chain the fuck up, yeah. Yeah, side chain. Hey. Let that shit breathe. Right pattern. I like this shit, dude. This one's nice, yo. I'm, I'm gonna have to get some work with this man, bro. Hey. And another thing we talked about off stream, people just to get you hype. While well, I got this fire beat on, we gonna be trying to do some music streams with these two, especially we got some big shit on the way. Hey. Melodies ever going for a side chain, it's, just, it's beautiful. Even if it's just it's a tiny bit. You're utilizing FL for its purpose, bro. Yeah, I love that. I'm saying too much. I mean, side chain is common, but you feel me? Still, like, I can't. That's the thing about music. Everything seems so easy because once you figure something out that is easy, yeah. everybody does it. But it's like, dude, just because it's easy doesn't mean it's not hard. Yeah. Like, you still have to find have to that find shit. To find yeah, it. I feel like it's really the plugins, though. Plugins is the real sauce. And oh, yeah. Like, There's a reason why those plugins are 500 bucks. Like, some shit really be wild yeah. with the production. Definitely too much. Ooh, the switch up. That's what I've been on. Now, do you have any other art passions besides beat making, or do you just? Because for me, obviously, you know, I dip my toes in everything. I'm a little fucking creative person, like not really a creative person, but like I just, I get so, I get so bored so quick. Like for me, it's like beat making is only so fun for until I'm like fuck, I'm dry on on sounds, bro. I need to, you know, stream and just talk some shit on the the earth. Yeah. I mean, bro, when I was growing up, I used to want to draw. Like, I was really heavily into drawing. Like, I used to get, like, the books, like, how to draw, like, Marvel comic book style. And, like, um, you ever heard of, like, Mark Crilly? 
Hell yeah, I heard I, him on I Kuhn, bought his bro. Um, how to the manga books. I bought it the first and the second. Yeah, part. he did all those manga like uh, tutorials and like also like he had one for like I think just like basic shit like you could draw like an airport or something. I was heavy in the job. Yeah, man, he used to make YouTube sketchbook. videos too, right? Yeah, oh, he put me on his spot, yo. He just, <laughs> he just yeah. pulled some knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> bro, we used to watch, used to watch that, that shit. shit yo. He, oh, Cause yo, I used to be a visual, shit, I used to, my initial art endeavor, honestly, this is gonna sound crazy, I was really into guns, bro. So I was like, in fourth grade, I was like, now on some white boy shit. All right, hold up, chat. <laughs> oh, right. oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Yo, I actually got in trouble, bro, but I ain't get expelled because this is before everybody started shooting up the fucking schools, bro. But, <laughs> like, I, on fourth grade, I, they were like, what do you want to be when you grow up as a job? I wrote gunsmith, bro. My mom was like, are you fucking tripping, bro? Because I used to love that show. I used to love that History's Channel show where they used to fix all the fucking straps. Yeah. So, like, my first art endeavor is, like, I want to make custom-ass... You know, I want to make custom shit. straps, mom. And what then the that quickly got <laughs> shut down, and I went right to comic books. So I feel you with the visual art. Yeah. And that was the, that was the greater point. But yeah, I fuck with those old ass videos. Yeah, he's like, today we're gonna be drawing a anime eyeball, and it's like your shit looks anime nothing anime like the, the eyeball at the end. At least in my case, I never was good with drawing, but that's that's her department. Nice. Speaking of, real yeah. quick, I want to ask you something before we get off topic of like different kinds of art and shit. Is there a yeah. point that you? Even, like, when you're making music or anything else that you work on that you feel like something is done. Because that's something I struggle a lot with as a visual artist, and I never feel like anything's done. So I don't know how other people interpret Dude. that challenge. Because uh, it just feels like everything I do is unfinished forever. It's been two years from my album. That's all I gotta say about that chat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nah, I mean, yeah. I feel, I feel like, nah. I don't be feeling like the beast. Beat. I mean, nah. There were some, like, some, like. I know we're done. Like, I got a couple on here I just made that, like, I'm like, all right, they're bangers yeah. for sure. I can't touch this shit. Fully Girl arranged. Yeah. The idea is, for me, it's like... It's done. Not necessarily as soon as it becomes taxing to do, but as soon as it becomes like, all right, this is a chore, like, I'm done. Bro. Or, like, it's not fun anymore. Yeah, like, it's like, uh, I'm going to get mad and I want to perform this, and I'm going to put it in the bookshelf of never getting released. Right. So, for me, it's like, eh, I'll wait. I'll sit on stuff. Wise boy, I bet you tackle this problem a lot too. I feel like with, it's always with your verses. Like you're like, I could have said this better. Most definitely. But Especially it's like you really this. couldn't say it better. Like that's just how the flow. That's is. just how it's yeah, said. So. Yeah. And sometimes I'll be like, I know I can't do this any better. Like this is the best, and I'm just like, I just don't like it. So yeah. It usually yeah. gets shelved nine times out of ten. I usually fucking. I feel like comedians say it. a lot of times when I listen to podcasts, comedians uh, complain about that. They're like. You just gotta strip it down two, three words, and it'll be the best joke you ever written. But it's like if you don't know what two, three words to look for, then you're fucked. That's where the practice comes in, truly, with this music shit. Right. Would you say you've gotten faster than when you started with the, with saying shit's done, saying shit's finished? Yeah, definitely. Shit. Well, damn. I say, hey, why don't we give him one more? Yeah, you wanna ask him the signature question? I'm not prepared. And I'll ask you the signature thing? question over the beat, bro. Over the beat. Let it rip, bro. Let it rip. Uh. <laughs> this is one of my favorite beats. Hey. What's the scariest moment of your life? Hey. Hey. <laughs> a little bit of a on the beat with moment, it. The scariest moment of my life. If you're gonna incriminate yourself, you're good. Yeah, right? maybe don't incriminate yourself. Yeah, maybe don't incriminate but, um, nobody, bro. Uh, but you can still say some crazy shit. You can still say some crazy shit. It's, like, it's, just, it's just how you say it. It's everything we're talking about in Minecraft. Let's just start it off like that. <laughs> everything went down in Minecraft. Here, I give you a little bit because I don't want to. Oh, fuck, boy. Sauce. This about to be the scariest moment. Sauce. This about to be the scariest moment. I see you dodging this question. What the fuck is your answer, homie? Come on. I say most adrenaline you've ever felt. First time, life. first time I ever went up to go hit that football practice. Really? Yeah, That's a strange answer. I mean, yeah, I respect. I was it. big, man. I wasn't one of them, man. I hate, I hated the fucking hit, bro. You ain't like sports much. Nah, I mean, contact sports. Not I did. Way. I played football for for a while. We'll watch that one. Yeah. I got we'll over it eventually. I hated it. I hated sports. Like, I tried every year. I'm like, I don't like it this year. Yeah. Never got into it. I just like creative. Yeah, I played football for a couple years. 
I see where the addiction is, because I am competitive as fuck. You fucked him up already, <laughs> puss. I was like, uh-oh. Jeremy O's a savage. You got so much to promote. Uh, Come on, you got to catch up, Say those, your bro. promotions. Say your promotions. Uh, hey, go hit hit that link for the band camp. Yeah. yeah. Go out there. It's only a dollar. Or he going to hit you, you like a out now. You G's out yeah, everywhere. definitely that, too. Yeah. Go stream the video. All platforms. Watch the video. Shout out Pooh. Shout out R. Everybody. Still yeah. children on the way. Definitely. A oh, on the shit. way. Shout out my boy Fuck Mac. Yeah. They just dropped all the knowledge at the end. Everybody, shout out Baton Rouge, too. Yeah, shout out to my mama. What? What? Down the hatch. Yo, that's that's it, man. You better hit the link. Go hit it. Hit I'm the gonna link. Find you. Yeah. He'll hit you like that tackle, bro. Straight up. That was a good answer, though. That's a strange answer, you know. I never. It's always interesting what people say. It's like, the, it's like those therapy questions. It's like where they're like, "Tell me the first thing that comes to your mind," and they're like, "Yellow," and then you're just like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> and that, that wasn't even that scary though. You feel me? I ain't been through too much scary shit for me. That's good. Stay blessed, bro. <laughs> hey, click the link in the bio. Yeah. Peace. Hey.